Hi, here's a here's another um, CDF problem using the exact same CDF I used in the last video, but this time I thought I would find um, a couple probabilities that are uh, greater than instead of in the last video I did uh, less than videos, and also when you have x between two values. So um, we had already drawn this. I wonder if I should I'll quickly draw it again. So here's what the CDF looks like. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three. This is the x-axis. This is capital F of x. Uh, it'll eventually hit one. Uh, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.75. So um, for x is less than zero, we have picked up no probability. The graph looks like that. Let me change colors. To red. Okay, so up until zero, no probability. When we hit zero, then we pick up probability, but at zero, it's just zero squared over two, which is zero. And then I have a parabola shape uh, up until one. So when I put in there one, I get a half. So here's the shape up to one, and I put a, an open, sorry, an open circle at one, because at one, um, I, I don't have an approaching one from the left, and at one, I actually, that's when I make my jump up. And so right now, at one, I just reach where I'm going to have the probability, and, and I make the jump uh, of how much probability there actually is at x equals one. So at x equals one now, I jump up to two-thirds, so that's about right here. So this is the value of x equal one. It's actually... Um, right, the amount of pro probability you gain at one. So whatever the difference is, right, um, two-thirds minus a half, that's a probability x is equal to one. And now it's just a constant function over to two. And then at two, I make a, another jump up to three-fourths. So that's right here, all the way across to three. And then at three, I make another jump of a quarter, and that goes up to one, all the way across. Okay, so now we're going to find some greater than probabilities. Uh, the first one, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1, since capital F of x is the probability that x is less than or equal to x, um, we, don't have a, uh, we don't have a greater than or equal to function. That's actually called a survivor function, but we're given um, the cumulative distribution function. So when we have a greater than, I'd, I'd rather take the time to write it in terms of less than or less than or equal to so we can use the function we have. So this is the same thing. Um, to get all the probability greater than or equal to 1, that's going to be 1 minus the probability that x is strictly less than 1, right? So to be greater than or equal to 1, I'm going to subtract off the open circle less than 1. Um, so this is 1 minus uh, less than 1 is f coming to x from the left. So this is f of 1 left. And uh, this is 1 minus, so coming from the left of 1 is this way. And uh, I put in 1, and that would be 1 half. So we get 1 half. Okay, so that's the probability x is greater than or equal to 1. So to find the probability x is strictly greater than 1, that's 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, right? So to have an open circle on this end, um, I'm going to have to do 1 minus the closed circle. So this is 1 minus f of 1 from the right, which is 1 minus, and coming to 1 from the right, is two-thirds, so this will be one-third. So actually the probability x is exactly equal to one is um, the difference between, um, well, I don't even want to worry about that, but I could find the probability x is one, but right now we just found greater than or equal to one and greater than one. And so let's go down here to two. So same, same idea, probability x is bigger than or equal to two is 1 minus probability x is less than 2. So 1 minus f of 2 coming from the left. And coming from the left, it's 2 thirds. So 1 minus 2 thirds is 1 third. Okay. 
um, probability x is greater than 2 is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So this is 1 minus f of 2 from the right, which is 1 minus, and 2 from the right is actually 3 fourths. So this is 1 fourth. And I thought I'd do one more set of x's here. So um, the probability x is greater than or equal to 1.5 is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is strictly less than 1.5. And 1.5 is in between 1 and 2. So whether I come from the left or right, it really doesn't matter. It's the same value. So let's just sneak up here a little bit. So right, x equals 1.5 no matter what, left or right, it's 2 thirds. So this is 1 minus 2 thirds, which is 1 third. So in this case, uh, probability x is greater than 1.5 will give us the same value. Probability x is uh, less than or equal to 1.5, which is coming to 1.5 from the left. But again, it's still 2 thirds. Um, so again, we'll just get 1 third for this. Um, let me see. So those are all the greater thans. And I also wanted to do um, between. So I think I'll go ahead and do it in this video. Yeah, it's going to probably be about 10 minutes, but uh, it's worth seeing a couple of these. So I think we'll just look at A, B, and C. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a graph of what this looks like, right? I want um, x to be between 1 and 2, including 2. So let me draw what that looks like. Um, so 0, 1, 2. I'm just putting it on... Uh, Right, in one dimension. I want, to, I want to look and see what this looks like and get my um, less than or equal to signs correct. So I want x's uh, bigger than 1 but less than or equal to 2. So this is the region I want. So it makes sense then. I'm going to go ahead and draw another. Let's draw this back. I'm going to go to uh, Let's do this color blue. So in order to get this interval, if I was, if I was using capital F's, um, I'd want everything less than 2, and that's going to be capital F of 2, positive coming from um, the right. And then I want to subtract off, and because I want to open circle, what I'm going to do is subtract off the closed circle less than or equal to 1. So this is just, uh, this is probability that x is less than or equal to 2, and I'm going to be subtracting off the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so this turns out to be um, probability x less than or equal to 2 minus probability x less than or equal to 1. So this is f of 2 from the right minus f of 1 from the right. Let's just go up there. Well, actually, we're right here. So 1 coming, or 2 coming from the right is 3 fourths minus 1 coming from the right is 2 thirds. And then we get a value. Okay, um, how about this one that we're here? This is, let me rewrite that. That's the probability that 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. So just as a practice, um, I'm going to redo, I'm going to go ahead and draw that graph again. And I think this will be the last one I do, or my video is going to get really long. So um, let's change the color to red again. So here's what I'm trying to find. Um, here's 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. I want the probability between 2 and including 2 but strictly less than 3, okay? So I'll go ahead and draw that picture again with the blue. Um, we'll use that blue color again. So to find this little region, I want to do an open circle all the way to the left. So this is probability that x is strictly less than 3. And then because I want a closed circle there, I want to do an open circle less than 2. So this will be probability x is less than 2, and I want to subtract those. So that's going to be um, capital F of 3 from the left minus capital F of 2 from the left. And that's equal to, let me see, let's get back up there again. So coming to 3 from the left. 
yeah, that's right. Three from the left over here. So I'm coming three from the left is three fours minus coming to two from the left is two thirds. And so then I'll get my answer. So the other ones you do similarly, like um, this one's going to be the same way. Um, so I'm not going to do another one. I hope um, you get the idea. But if you want to see another one done, let me know and I can always make another video for it.